Doesn't make it any better. Well, we'll see if it's alright. twice in a row. How did you even do that? Go away, bot. I do not like you. It's okay. It's coming to me. Face. Your cute face. He's contrary. Let's get him. Here, that's it. Hear anything? Bad Momo, don't do that. Okay. Um, we've been doing side quests, because our main people are not tough enough to take. Uh, Beast Angel, Geo, and, and Guerus. This is the team I've been running the marsh with. I think I need to get some other people up to level 50 to take on that boss. Because it's just going to take a while to get these guys their, um, scrolls. So, not scrolls, their, um... Treaty, treatise, but whatever you call the thing that they need to get to level four or four stars. We've been running Manny Marsh a lot. Oh, I do that on my own time. So it, it pretty much goes, it, it goes pretty easy because as long as you've got like a level 40 something Aramis, she just owns everything. You don't really- it doesn't really matter what the rest of your party is, except that sometimes they'll die to, uh, Cyrus. The end. Because, um, she does take three turns to kill Cy Cyrus when she's, uh, she doesn't really have much- I don't know if she has any buffs to her spirit. I think maybe she has a very small spirit badge that I got from running this dungeon. We don't really have badges. We did- we did make it to the- the white- white gate. Uh, uh, we got like two whole cat stamps. Probably need to... No? I don't remember what the uh, reward the schemes are for the, the early levels. Oh dang it, I've left her on twin dragons. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's not what we... That's very necessary to have a guide on how to beat an easy dungeon to do an overload. Um... I guess we're doing our Nococo. Got excited. I, I didn't really intend to run this on the stream. I tried to run it off the stream. It's finished with this over and over. I didn't want to level up Ica. Hats, please! You're so amazing. Uh, cat. My cat is acting up. What are you doing? Do you want to drink my water? Please don't drink my water, kitty. We'll do it in here. Water. Okay, kitty. I guess it is just your water that you kindly let me use. At least let me use my mouse, kitty. Standing on my mouse cord. <laughs> That's not ideal. Me in the neck with her kitty tail. Then we just can drag and spice, and that'll take care of it. What the? Smash wants to get her up to high spirit. She can probably just own all the all the easy easy dungeons. Sorry, I'm very tired today, so I probably won't do it. Not that I do long streams anyway. Now I will show her tail, but she doesn't want to show her adorable face. Okay, Maui. You can do that if you want. A very fussy kitty. Ow, my Let's see. I figured we'd do some more side quests or character quests. Do we have? I can't remember if Helena has any character quests. Okay, she has a side story. Iris. 
He already did his quest. Yeah, we gotta get him to level 4 before we can do his next quest. Also, clear chapter 20. I, uh... Can't remember how far we've gotten in this quest. Quest? Okay, yeah, no, we gotta- We gotta clear a lot of chapters before we can do her second- Her first quest. A Tiramis. Okay, we gotta clear chapter 31. Uh, be able to do some quests for other profession. Want to do it, but we can't. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we can do Victor's quest. Want some of these guys who aren't locked behind late story events are good. It is kind of sad though that. Like, characters have to exist in, like, a permanent limbo because they can appear in characters' side quests. Therefore, they always need to be available to do that. Which always makes me worry that any actual story progress is possible. That everything will exist in a weird limbo forever. Like, they're- they're never- they're never gonna play the dang castle, are they? To, uh to this award. I'm not sure what it is. It might be for killing a hundred of one of the enemies from the main. We've been doing a lot of that. Doing a lot of manic martial late. Uh, I always worry it's going to crash when I open the records, but I think it's just because it has to load so much. It uh, doesn't like it very much. Maybe if I'd installed it on my SSD, it would have had an easier time. But, uh... Too late. It's installed not on the SSD. Kind of limited space on it. Okay, yeah, we've killed a hundred. Sorry, defeated. We defeated a hundred of here. Here, maybe? Warrior. We've done 800 battles already. <laughs> Updates. See? I can't remember now. I guess it'll be a bit because Infaeus just came out. Um, dang, I worry anytime this thing lags out. Because it has crashed. I was going to say it's crashed on me a couple times, but never when it lagged out. It's always worked when it lagged out. It's crashed when uh, it's crashed. I think it was missing data issue because requiring data fixed it. Okay, we'll go. Actually, we'll go help that carpenter with his son in Unigan. We were dealing with all the side quests in Unigen last time, so we'll continue with that. And we'll just kind of use whatever people we have for now, because uh, I don't know how long it'll take to get my poor uh, story characters up to uh, five stars. Five stars. I, I know that'll take a while. We gotta finish the story and stuff. No, um, we gotta, gotta get them up to four stars for them to be useful again. Uh, I pretty much just need to run their dungeons. Uh, which is not ideal because revival. I don't know why that's yellow. Carpenter Ketchum has something he wants to say to you. Listen to him. Oh, he's sad. Poor man. Ketchum, are you okay? You've been acting weird ever since we found your son. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Wasn't exactly my finest hour, huh? Hey, what's going on with you and Rongo anyway? I don't want to believe you abandoned his mom like you said. Mother, my wife, she passed away about a year ago. She was sick and she never had a very strong constitution. I had to leave town for a job and when I came back she was gone. I didn't get the chance to take care of her at the end. Looking back on it, I should have paid more attention to her condition. I thought about how little time she might have left. You've seen for yourself how passionate I get about work feel like a damn fool. I never stopped caring about my wife, but apparently Rongo sees it differently. I'm sorry to hear that. He got less and less interested in carpenter carpentry and in spending time with me, and now here we are. It's my fault he's fallen in with that crowd. I practically chased him away. Maybe. What do you want to do now? Poor Aldo, he looks so sad. Rongo is my precious son. Nothing he could do will change that. 
my wife gone, it's my responsibility to set him back on the right path. It doesn't matter if I can't make amends with him as long as he doesn't throw away his life. Catch him? I'll help you. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Really? Thanks. If you on my side, I might just stand a chance. You got any ideas on how to get through to him? He got where he is now because I was never honest about my feelings. All I can do is be completely frank with him and apologize for what I've done. I won't blame him if he doesn't forgive me. I know I've made some mistakes. I was thinking I'd give back his old hammer too. There was a time when it was one of his favorite tools. His mother made it for him when he first started showing an interest in the craft. He and I got into a fight last year and he threw it into the sea. Who knows where it is now? We'd make a new one, but it was decorated with a gem, a real expensive one. You don't see them for sale all that often. One my wife used had been passed down in her family for generations. What kind of gem was it? I think the scientific name is Rattle of Rattle. Rattle Dite. Mitchum, I might be able to get hold of a stone like that, but you'll have to trust me and not ask questions. <laughs> don't worry about my time traveling. You can get it. I'll owe you big time for this. I'll get the other materials together while you're gone. There's no time to lose. Off he runs. That name can't be a coincidence. That's, the stone must have a connection with Rattle. Ooh, I love Rattle. So pretty. Except the quest. Need to go to Rattle. Which unfortunately does mean I gotta open the map. It'll be fine. I hope. It takes a while. To load. It, it takes a while to load on mobile too, but I guess it's just not as noticeable. Kinda in a mobile game. Beast King Castle. Wish I could defeat you. Need to get my other four and five stars up to a reasonable level, and then we can tackle it. It'll go easily. The question of do I want to like level up strong five stars, or do I want to focus more on people that are. Uh, like the the poor four stars who've been left behind. I, I miss I miss them. I miss them a lot. I miss Sawyer. Well, I don't miss her voice. I, I dislike her voice. I miss I miss using her. I used her her and Benedict. They they helped me take down King Palsible. Hi. Do you know anything about a gem called Rattledite? Rattledite? You mean that Rattledite? Not exactly what you'd call a gem. Can't go a few paces into the Vasu Mountains without seeing some. The glittering orange colored mineral. You must have seen it before. What, you mean you can find it just lying around? Looks like I was right on the mark coming here. Guess our next step is to dig around in the Vasu Mountains. Quest there, too. Take a peek at what it is. Okay, it's Nikas. I don't think her name is pronounced Nika, but I forgot how she said her own name. That's how it is in my head. Maybe I'll try to figure it out. I'm at least- I'm working- I'm working on calling her Cecile and not Cecil. I really want to say Cecil every time. It's a problem, actually. It's a problem when you really, really want to call someone Cecil. Kitty friend. Got a really cute calico kitty with us right now. And my kitty just winked at me. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Sit with me, my kitty gump dumpling. Good girl. A good baby girl. Get on my lap. You can get a bit fussy sometimes. She likes a lot of attention. She doesn't like it when I talk to people, not her. When I'm hanging out with her. My cat might be a little possessive. Look at this, it's so lovely. We're up there? That's a big one. Glows. Most lovely. So the requ requisite monster attack. You will fall to my blade. It would fall through the roadside. 
but uh the tiramis goes first because she's five stars so she's a lot faster than you we need to get to the point where we can that would be fish in the lava okay map good load hope yep there we go all is well Game has not crashed. I, I really be nervous. I need to accept those. Not gonna crash. Gonna be fine. Okay, now we can go go give the uh, carpenter the uh, rattlelite. Rattle rattlelite. Help him reunite with his son, or at least explain himself to his son. Hey, Ketchum, we got the stone you wanted. Age Master Mania. Hello there. Over the rattlelite. What in the great googly moogly? It's the real thing. You actually got your hands on some. I can barely believe my eyes. You must be an angel or something. Thanks. I mean it. Thank you so much. Now we've got everything we need. I'll head over to the blacksmiths and have them whip it up right away. Off he goes. I mean, he always dashes. Check it out. One new hammer. I placed a special rush order to get it done as fast as possible. Now I just have to go give this to him if he'll talk to me. Thanks for all your help. No problem. I hope he'll listen to what you have to say. Hey, catch him. Oh, hi there. What's up? Finished work early today? We was out gathering materials on the Serana coast, or Serena coast, like always, when some beast folk attacked. Then, Rongo saved us. He bought us enough time to get away safely, but he's still fighting now. What? My boy! Going to the castle to request backup. There are so many of them, I don't know how long he can last on his own. We'll see about that. I'm coming, son. Okay, now we gotta go rescue his. Catch him. You can't go alone. Wait for me. Ronaldo, oh, no, that man is very fast. He will get away from you seen him sprint to the wind oops or no the Serana so the Serena coast Serena Serene giant floating fish monsters which are a little concerning it's just a little I'm also still running my man eating marsh team but that's fine I'm sure Nico okay right over there Time to make progress. You're under attack. Your stars show a sad existence. Running in place animation is actually a moment. <laughs> Bow down, Tuna Coco. I probably don't actually need that, but I haven't crafted all the, lo the level weapons yet. I might. I might need it. I'm not sure. Time to save the carpenter's son. Erg, come on. Is that the best you can do? Stop it, Dad. If you keep fighting, you could seriously injure your legs. What if you can never work again? Better than losing my family. There they are. Go! Hey, you two. You? Done enough. Leave the rest to us. We are practically professional monster killers. I mean, I guess we don't get paid to kill them, but we... We got Nika. Yes, yeah, I did. I did get her. I'm leveling her right now so she can... She can do things. Time is a luxury we don't have. I, uh, I need to level up some of my other... Good characters, because I've, I've neglected the poor people. I'm fine, just a couple of bruises. Dad, what about you? Your legs. Okay, don't look glum. It'll take more than that to finish me off. You're always so reckless. You'd think you'd learn to be more careful with age. Rongo, I'm sorry. I got so into my work, I never stopped to consider your feelings. Because of that, I lost something dear to me. 
from a failure as a father. Dad. Back then, I hated you, and I hated carpentry because it reminded me of you. I always thought you cared more about your job than you did about us. You were always the most important thing in the world to me. Sorry I never made that clear to you or to your mom. I don't want to lose the ones I love anymore. My job is important to me, but it's nothing compared to you, Rongo. Please come home. Dad. I made you a little something as a peace offering. Take it. Ketchum handed over the hammer. What the? Dad, how did you... You were worried about me, huh? You wanted to remind me of the old days. Of course, I couldn't stay put when I heard the rumors you'd become a bandit. I was never a bandit. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying about me in town, but they've got the wrong idea. It's fighting against the beast folk. Raiding the Serena coast and stealing supplies meant for the castle repairs. I may not have forgiven you, but I still wanted to see the castle recovered. When I quit carpentry, I joined up with some mercenaries who guarded the materials and route to the castle. Really? Then that shady looking group you were hanging around with? They may look a little rough, but they've got hearts of gold. They're from Rind. That place gets attacked all the time. There's no love lost between the beast folk and the townsfolk there. These guys get misunderstood a lot, probably because of their short tempers. Everyone's on edge right now. I guess some information got twisted into those weird rumors you heard. I'm surprised at you, Dad. Don't you trust your own son? You know I'd never do something that rotten. You raised me better than that, old man. Kitty, careful there. Got to admit, I felt kinda happy when I saw you rushing in to save me. Thanks for that. I was just standing here watching their touching scene. <laughs> Come on, Dad, let's go home. <laughs> and about that carpentry work, it looks like you could use an extra pair of hands. Count me in. After all, I'm pretty sure Mom wouldn't want us to fight. Where do I can pass the cutscene dialogue by pressing spacebar and not clicking. Thanks for your help, Aldo. Just you wait. Miglan's castle is going to be as good as new before you know it. That is a lie. Looking forward to seeing it. Lamb too old. Quest complete. My cat was sitting on it. And she left me, and I was afraid she was gonna knock things over, but she didn't, so all is well. Okay. Can't take the zombie level D. Like that. I guess we'll run back to you again, because I think we've got another quest there that we can work on. Uh, or actually, we probably should go to Rind. I've never really done anything. There's got to be a lot of stuff. Yeah. Even go there until you for the carpenter. You're a fool to challenge me. That's literally most of the side quests in this game. Just standing there watching other characters have their moment. <laughs> Funny. I'm gonna stand here. I guess you know you, you just help them, so they can't be like, please go away. Then you wouldn't get to see their touching rings and or whatever other other things happen. Look at these lovely, lovely Got a little cat scratch feeder. No one else gets to do anything. This tennis is too powerful. Did you see my graceful moves? But uh, hopefully we can get some of these other people up to better levels. Um, uh, better gear, and then we can take on the Beast King's castle again. Bucket line. Okay, yeah, there's some quests here we haven't done. Look at that. Oh, that must be a character. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, look at this key. Have I collected this key? Not collected. Okay. Do this man's quest. Ship that will never return. Fisherman from Rind went out fishing but has not returned. Go look for him. Hmm, he's still not back. Something wrong, mister. You look pretty worried. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. It's just one of my fellow fishermen hasn't been seen in a few days. He was meant to come into port three days ago, but I haven't seen any sign of his ship yet. Three days. You don't think he got attacked by sea monsters or something, do you? 
Can't rule out that possibility. He was fishing in the bay between the Nuara uplands and the Serena coast. Those are usually calm waters. Not a lot of reports of monster attacks there. But there was a storm out at sea right before he left. Could, that, could be that it caught up with him. In a lot of ways, a storm on the sea can be more dangerous than monsters. How about I go ask around? Someone in town might have seen him. I'll see what I can find out. Oh, thank you. My friend always wears a pendant made of jade. Should make him easy to spot. That does help. I'll keep a lookout for a jade pendant, too. Start by asking the townsfolk in Rind. The music is so exciting. I wanna go solve people's problems. First, I gotta go collect. Okay, there's a there's a there's a person to talk to. Yeah, oh, there's two people to talk to. Yeah. Get things done and collect cats. The storm that blew in a while back. Yeah, it was pretty scary. I don't know why, but it seemed different from your regular squall. The sea looked like it was glowing. What could that weird blue light have been? Collecting kitties. Aze. Oh, babies. Kindly lady, speak to me. I saw it with my own two eyes. A great hole was torn in the sky above the Nuara uplands during the storm. So, presumably, FaceTime Rift. Remember. Uh, over there. That storm was a real wild one. I saw boats getting tossed around like they weighed nothing at all. Some even say one ship disappeared, but I think that's going a little too far. Let's review what we know so far. A vanishing ship, a blue light, and a hole in the sky. Apparently it opened up somewhere near the Nuaro uplands. I have a feeling all this is connected somehow. The boat was sucked into the sky and disappeared into a glowing blue hole. That's enough to put together a theory of what might have happened. Time to do some more legwork. Search for victims. Okay, I guess we gotta go to the Nuaro uplands. That's where I assume we're going, so I'm heading up. That's apparently where we were. Oh, come on. I love this cat. Cat vanished. I love that little calico cat. It's so cute. I mean, I like, I like all the cats, but some of the cats are more cute than others of the cats. I should not judge my cats, though. That's cool. I very particularly don't want to talk to the sculpting guy in antiquity because I want to see if this statue will just always stay here. Well, not always. I'm curious what happens if I talk to the guy who made it. Okay, no, nope, the new up lens is not where I'm supposed to be either. Where am I supposed to be? I'm lost. I guess this is what the quest meant. Maybe I need to be on this. That's probably where I should be, actually. How far did I get in the story the first time I played? Um... I haven't played the most recent part. Um, the, what is it? The Return of the Goddess of Time part? Three part two? I don't remember. It's, uh... So it's, it's, I have played most of this. It's been a very long time. I don't remember a lot of it. It's been like... Two years or something. Where are the survivors? I'm so confused by this quest. No, that's not the quests. I need the quests. Okay. So search for victims of the storm. Yeah. I mean, did I at least finish Ogre War 1.5? Yes, I did. I did finish Ogre Wars. Lagging. Okay. I've played most of it. 
play a lot, actually. That's kind of why I decided to stream it on Steam. Because I really, really like it, but I don't know anyone who plays it. My way of getting to talk about it. Not in an intelligent fashion, because I'm good. Okay, I have no idea where the survivors form on. We'll just go do some other quests in Unity. I'm not even get in, in range. And not worry about that one because I can't figure it out. <laughs> me, me, not, not sure where that was. Back to Rind and uh, in the tavern. I think there would be a quest. Okay, we'll see what this young man needs. Resurrection Port. There's someone in Rind who is trying hard to bring the town back to how it was before the Beast King threatened it. So, this is Rind. Looks like it's still having trouble getting back on its feet after the last attack. Yeah, I wish people would get their acts together. The Beast King's no longer a threat. Whoa, where'd you come from? Sorry, I'm Mir, a town guard trainee. Hey, you're the guy who defeated the Beast King, right? You're a hero, man. We can live in peace thanks to you. But a lot of folks here are still on edge. Why can't things go back to the way they used to be? This used to be such a happy, bustling town. You're absolutely right. The port just doesn't seem right when it's this quiet. Exactly. I need to prove that the danger has passed, that we're free to live our lives again. I was thinking maybe we could make our defenses more visible. If town has enough protection, maybe people will feel safe enough to reopen their businesses. That'd go a long way to getting things back to normal for sure. Anything I can do to help. Actually, there's a group of bodyguards I want to join our town. I want to join our town guard for a while. I've wanted to join our town. Well, I think. Can you accompany me to my meeting with them? Compared to fighting the Beast King, it should be a walk in the park. I guess any extra protection is good for the town. Where are you meeting them? Carrick Swampland. Feel free to take the lead. I'll bring up the rear. I don't, I don't want to have to open the map again. It loads so slowly. But I also don't want to walk all the way there. So we're going to open the map again. Cyrus's funny face. This adorable cat. Elena turned away from the screen. This lovely building. These lovely trees. This road. It's very nice. It's just... Everything is very pretty. Everything is so pretty. I like looking, just looking at Some of the areas, they're just nice to like, sit and look. I guess is why it comes with the, where is that button that I figured out what it was for? Yeah, look at that. I had no idea what that was for, for like, so long. Yes, you know, I, I could have clicked it. Come on with us, we'll do that another time. Since you like the story characters a lot, I assume you, that you'd want to work towards their five stars once you get the chance. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want, I want to, I want to finish the uh, main, the, f the first part of the main story because I think then I'll be able to start on some of them. At least, I think I need to finish it to get to Cyrus's. At least, I might have to finish more first than the others. But I, I really want to be able to upgrade them. Trying to Did upgrade them to four stars also currently. Uh, I've been running man eating Marsh. I thought I've got a Rakshasa Rakshas tome for Cyrus. And I guess I'll probably work on Amy. Oh, I'm getting Amy. Her dungeon. Too difficult. Like the ones I can run Get easily. <laughs> Pretty much means if Tyrannus can do all the work. I could have handled it myself! You cannot handle it yourself. Well, you could have. Much easier if Tiramis handles it. Hello, you must be the bodyguards who are going to protect Rin for us. Hi, good to meet you. Now, about our pay. How does this figure sound? Hmm, that's all. Are you sure you're willing to work for such a small amount? Aye, we've nay been doing this job very long. Right now, we're focusing on building trust with our client. Can't believe my luck. Sure, if this is your price, you're welcome to. 
Bear, can I talk to you for a second? There's nothing wrong with getting a bargain, but this is too good to be true. Plus, why did they insist on meeting here? Aldo can tell it's suspicious. You worry too much, Aldo. I don't have a lot of money to throw around. A deal like this is surely a gift from the gods. The brightest. That's right, lad. Put yourself in our hands and you'll have nothing to fear. Plus, we got a special connection we rend. We'd defend that place for free if we had to. See? These folks are saints. They probably have friends or family in town or something. A chance like this doesn't come along every day. We can't afford to lose it. It's a deal. Let's shake on it. Welcome to the town guard. Hey, hey, hey. I knew you'd see it our way. You just guide us to town, we'll get started right away. Hmm, I don't like the looks of this. Maybe I should check up on them. Assume we'll need to go save Rune. Um, I don't remember, but it's, it seems likely that they are very shady. Pat. You have to at least finish Ogre Wars and unlock their four stars to start unlocking their five stars. And there's the RNG part of it, which is getting the items for them. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta finish Ogre Wars. Okay, that's what I was unsure of, because I don't remember... Which chapter- I don't know which chapters are part of which the main storyline part. Okay, so. We'll aim to finish Ogre Wars, then. That's good. And yeah. Work on their, their stars as well. Aldo, thanks- thank the stars you're here. It's an emergency. Well, what happened? Bodyguards I hired are busting up the town. <laughs> what? Take me to them. Who could have seen this coming? Excuse me, do you think I could get past? Hey, how about this one? I right, grab anyone you can get your hands on. The more hostages, the better. I don't know what their deal is, but there's no excuse for hurting innocent townsfolk. Hey, cut it out, you guys. Harassing the townsfolk. Boy, looks like someone wants to be a hero. What do we do with him? Obvious, ain't it? Kill him where he stands. Arg. They were really beast folk in disguise. Fucking. Ah, running rampant through this pathetic little town is too easy. Their defenses are a joke. We were only planted here as spies, but we may as well take over the whole place for ourselves. Thanks for the help, we Help, Amir. What have I done? I led a beast folk raid party right into the heart of our town. Somebody help. Keep quiet, human, unless you want to be cut down like the others. Let her go. Maybe I will. At this point, I doubt we even need hostages. This town is ours for the taking. We are very confident. It still works. Bird, you're stronger than we thought. Time for a strategic retreat. Are you alright? Yes. You, we're safe. I can't believe we didn't see through those disguises. They said they were only spies. Odds are they've got a main party back to back them up somewhere nearby. Is there still time to cut them off? Oh, but someone needs to stay back here and protect the townsfolk. Leave that to the town guard. We'll take out the main force ourselves if we have to. Thank you. I think they ran off toward the Serena coast. Wait, I know I'm not a great fighter, but will you take me with you? My fault they were able to do this much damage. Have to take responsibility somehow. All right, let's get going. All right. Time to go kill some beast folk on the Serena coast. But for a quest, instead of them randomly attacking, I mean, some of them will probably randomly I love the little cat run animations. Very cute. The cats are very cute. Our ship looks a little sad for how pretty this area is. Yeah, sails are all torn up. 
can handle this alone. Oh, we've got Tiramis. She can handle everything. <laughs> and she runs out of men. But then she can't. She can't handle anything, actually. <laughs> Need to keep an eye on that. Sometimes I forget. Excitement have we here. Hold it right there. Assistant Arnie. No matter. Now we have reinforcements. There's no way you will lose to you again. We are the Rind Invasion Battalion, appointed by His Majesty the Beast King himself. We'll never back down. Invasion Battalion. This town is a promising center of trade and in a good strategic position, too. We cannot allow humans to remain here. That is why His Majesty formed this squad, and if we cannot conquer the town, we will destroy it. King's already fallen, you know. I almost admire your loyalty. But I won't let you harm Rind anymore. Wait, you. You're the villain that slew our beloved king. Ahead. How fortuitous. We can capture this town and avenge his majesty all in one fell swoop. They're very optimistic. Got a little cat scratch fever. Tiramis is still here. He's about to run out of MP though. I've only got a couple myself. more of those before I need to I need to rest and get her MP back. Rah, what a shameful end. Long live the king. Hi. Oh, no. So much for the invasion battalion. This ought to make the beast folk think twice about threatening Rind again. Thank you. You've saved our town from ruin. Let's head back and see if anyone else needs help. Hopefully all is well. I fought that guy. Grimthorpe, hello there. We're doing some questing in the uh, Rind today. You will fall to my blade. You also need to go rest at the inn in Rind because uh Grimace is about to run out of out of her uh, MP. And she can't kill everyone. And on tier. Oh first. That's first. It's right there. Right by the inn. Here we are. Everything looks fine given the circumstances. Yeah. Poor Mir, he is sad. I don't know how I can thank you for everything you've done. I shouldn't have been so quick to trust those guys. I was in such a hurry to revive the town, I ended up making things worse. Hey, this is no time to feel sorry for yourself. We may have thwarted this attack, but there will be other parties, other threats. Even now, the Beast King's gone, he still has plenty of followers. There was nothing wrong with your idea, Mir. Just make sure you think things through next time. This town is going to need all the help it can get. Your job as a town guard to keep it safe. If the citizens don't have you to protect them, where else can they turn? You're right. We'll face this new challenge head on. I'll do whatever it takes to protect Rind to keep my home safe. That's what I'm talking about. As long as you can hold on to that resolve, this town will come back stronger than ever. Yeah, thank you for everything, Aldo. I'll let you know if I ever need your help again. See you around. Ooh, lovely quest completed music. Medium class scrolls. Must do what I do with all scrolls I receive. For now, anyway. I must feed them to Nokoko. Nokoko, eat your scrolls and grow strong. Where is she? Level Nikka because I like Nikka. She's cool. Coco must feed. Yes. She went up three whole levels by eating those scrolls. Okay, we got. Wait, no. Can't run off. <laughs> I gotta remember what I was doing. Gotta rest at the inn. Yes, please, I would like to rest at your inn. And probably receive food. I probably ate the food I have. Actually, no, I probably didn't because I was running dungeons. If all your friends were eating scrolls, would you? Sure. Be a little dry. But, you know. That's no reason to not eat something. <laughs> Helena's in the front and her hair is just covering Cyrus. It's kind of funny. I should probably switch her. 
That'll that'll look better. I have to make this important visual change. We can bring Nick out for a bit. Coco, we don't really need you in the front because Aramis does not care about your crit. Kasim in Rind is looking for the mermaid he saw once. Iris Dada. That guy's staring at the ocean really intensely. Hope he's okay. Hey, buddy, are you alright? I do kind of remember this quest. I don't remember most of the early game. Huh, you need something? Sorry, I just thought you looked kind of gloomy. Something on your mind. Hmm, there is something that's been bothering me. Strangely. What's on your mind, the beast folk? No, no, nothing as deep as that. The truth is, I've been looking for a mermaid. Those half fish creatures you read about in fairy tales? Who are you, anyway? My name is Cassie. I'm a ferryman here in Rind. Hi, I'm Aldo. I'm from Baruoki. Are you serious about this merfolk thing? I know it must sound fantastic, but yes, I'm totally serious. When I was a kid, I saw a mermaid with my own eyes. I'm sure that's what it was. Absolutely, I couldn't be mistaken. I even spoke to her. Wow, that's really something. You don't believe me, do you? Uh, well... Even I have moments when I think it may all have been a dream. But every year at around this season, I sense her nearby. This year, it's been stronger than ever. I think I may finally see her again. You sense her, huh? I'd love to believe you have that kind of ability. Aldo, are you a mercenary by any chance? Not really. Why? Want to search along the Serena coast, but with things with the beast the things with the beast folk are so tense. Oh, I get it. I may not be a sword for hire, but I can still come along and keep you safe. Really? Great. Let's head to the Serena coast right away. I, I know I commented on fine, but it's just so nice. It makes me feel so happy. Do basic quests like escort people to look for a mermaid. And most things. It seems like a yes or no question, although not really to being a mermaid mercenary. <laughs> Not really a mercenary. Maybe a little bit. The whole freaking series. Oh, this is another series of quests. We had like the Carpenter Son series of quests, and we had like the the child, the mage child in antiquity. Those like three three quest series. Requests in a little series. Prepare yourselves for death. I can't even actually get to do The side quest story legit has three parts. Whoa. That just meowed at me. Scared me a little bit. Denny! We'll speak to him. I never thought anything would impress me so much as the majesty of the ocean, but you guys are a real class act too. You're sailing on a far on far stranger tides than I ever knew existed. They shivers my tempers. No adventure is too much for me. Call me whenever you're setting sail for a new one. Let's show the world what we can do. Like, I have him in my party, I guess? Well, not my party, but in my team, I guess? This is far enough. This spot right here is where I first met the mermaid. Then he politely left for this, I guess. <laughs> it's such a normal place for a fantastic encounter like that. I'll never forget that night. I was here, looking up at the full moon. And he's not a five star. Poor, poor man. My gaze drifted to the water, and suddenly there was a woman there. She was so beautiful, she took my breath away. She was no different from a human woman until I looked below her waist. I was so shocked, I could barely move, but then she smiled at me. We started talking, and several hours went by as if in a dream. Poor Denny. Interesting story. You just ran into her by chance. Pretty convenient. I was lucky. It may have been a long time ago now, but I know what I saw. 
Since then, I felt like she's nearby a number of times. Every year, I come back here hoping that this time I'll be able to see her and talk to her again. So, what now? Now we wait. Huh? You're just gonna stand here? Of course, I can't afford to miss her again. Alright, whatever you say. You wait. Still no sign of a mermaid. Just gonna stay. That, that's very pretty. So it's an island or like a insula. Nice though. We've been here a while. She's gonna show soon, do you think? Hmm, maybe. I think I feel her presence, but it's only faint. Presence, huh? Feels like it's gone again. We'll never get anywhere just standing around like this. Do you have any ideas? Who, me? Uh, I usually approach a problem by asking around so I have as much information as possible. That's a great idea. Knowledge is power. Let's go ask around in Rind. Hey, wait for me. He's really gonna ask people if they've seen any mermaid lately, huh? Better go along and keep him out of trouble. Bye, Denny. I'm sorry no one cares about you. I mean, it does include me, so... Just his tragic fate. Get on your knees and surrender! Oh, these guys are just regular huh? I don't know if we even need Tiramis for these guys. I no, I think they're level 30. Myself. I think we do need her for them. 20 yakshas. Only quest we've got here currently. It's nice. And excuse me, do you know anything about the Merfolk? Tales have been told about them since the days of antiquity. They even say Merfolk used to visit this port all the time. Really? Great, we have a lead. I never heard about them coming here though. How you feel about every four star because you're going to need a full team of five stars once you reach part two or even ogre wars yeah i feel bad for the four stars who've never gotten any it's it's really sad for them they kind of got massively left behind we're talking about the days of my father's fathers most of those stories have been passed out of have passed out of living memory there are reason merfolk are so elusive well, there are old superstitions that say eating merfolk flesh will grant a human immortality. As a result of that, many merfolk were slain by scoundrels seeking eternal life. No wonder they've learned to be wary of humans. What a tragedy. They were innocent, kind-hearted creatures. They never tried to launch any kind of counterattack against us. All they could do was try to survive and lament the passing of their brethren. If I were a merman, I know I wouldn't want to get friendly with humans in a hurry. That may be, but I will not give up. I need to see her again. Looking for a real mermaid? You'd do well to talk to the children around town. They've been chattering about saying something strange at sea lately. Cassin's not the only one, huh? Maybe this isn't as possible as I first thought. Impossible. Come, Aldo, we need to interview the kids. I should probably work on my five-star team as well. Because Tiramis is great for crowd, crowd clearing, but we need people who can actually... Fight strong enemies. Hey, is it true you saw something out at sea? Sure is, and not any old something either. It was a merfolk. Wow, can you tell me a little more about what happened? Merfolk barbecue time? Oh dear. That does not sound good. Me and Pop were out fishing in the ocean. Then I saw something swim really fast. It was going too fast to be human. It was a merfolk. I'm a million percent sure it was. There aren't any other human-shaped creatures that can swim that fast. Which way did the thing you saw go? Uh, it shot off through the water toward the Serena coast. I knew it. Thanks for your help. Hey, don't run off without your bodyguard. He's a reckless young man. He's too enthusiastic about seeing the mermaid.
like how purple they are. They're all purple and green. It's very nice. Mermaid is over by a zombie. I can be sad that I cannot take on level 60 a zombie. Starfin. I don't know why these fish fly. We They're very the intimidating. Like giant flying fish just levitating at you. It's kind of scary. I would be very scared in life if it happened to me. There you are, Kasim. Kasim. Aldo, take a look at this. Hmm. There's grooves in the sand like something came up onto the shore. Someone was here, alright. What do you want to do now? What can I do but wait? I thought you might say that. I might as well stick it out with you. Fine, Aldo can fall asleep all the time. You and Kesem wait and wait and wait. Say, why are you so determined to meet this mermaid anyhow? Well, I, I guess you could say I'm in love. In love with a mermaid. Yeah, well, you know how it is. Don't think I do. <laughs> huh, I think I saw something for a minute there. Feels like we're not alone. Something here. Is it the mermaid? No, it's probably a monster. I don't know, but it's coming in fast. He wants to eat her? Oh dear. Is this a mermaid? Oz? <laughs> Kasim, you fell in love with this thing. <laughs> like, I was just like, ah, oh, yes. This is a mermaid. Don't be ridiculous. Who could love a hideous creature like this? Yarg. He insulted it. Eek. I think you offended it. You'd better fall back to a safe distance. I'll handle the rest. Me. <laughs> this is my dance. I'd just like to make this perfectly clear. That was not the mermaid I was looking for. We need to make things clear. Yeah, of course. That kid we spoke to must have just mistaken it for me. Feel foolish for getting my hopes up. I should have known my quest wouldn't end so easily. Maybe I should take a break. I can make my own way home from here. Hey, don't get so discouraged. I'm sure if you keep looking... Oh, did I just see something on the ocean? It looked like a shadow under the surface. I could have sworn it was human shape too. It might be my imagination, but you never know, right? Kitty, who's squeaking? Just squeaking at something outside. You gotta help this young man in his quest to find this mermaid. See if the next part is available yet. Usually the after. Hopefully. Let's continue the saga. You will fall to my blade. <laughs> Shall we also, we do need to. Another reason, in addition to being able to get these guys up to their four and eventually five star forms, I also want to do her next quest, and we've got to. I think we've got to clear Ogre Wars for that. Have his next quest yet? Other quests? Well, I guess we don't have anything here, and we don't have anything in Dune again, so we can go people out in Baruoki. Have to continue the uh, the mermaid saga. Whenever, whenever the mermaid saga, mermaid saga lets me, continue, I guess. Haruoki. The only way I can figure it out. You have mayor, mayor thing, also mayor tutorials, but I don't want to do those right now. They're not, not the most interesting. 
thinking of you. Inside a bag dropped on the road, there are several sketches of a young lady. Oh, well, looks like someone dropped a bag. Picked up the bag. I know. Someone's bound to be looking for this. I wonder who it belongs to. Inside are several sketches of a young lady. Pictures of a girl. What are these doing in here? There are a lot of them. Probably have a lot of sentimental value. Who do we look for first, though? The girl in the pictures or the owner of the bag? About face. This girl here. That girl over there. She looks like the woman in the pictures. Don't think I don't see you staring at me. Is something wrong? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to talk. I haven't seen you around before. Are you new in town? Yes, I just moved here a little while ago. My name is Annette. So, what else did you want to talk about, handsome? I wasn't trying to pick you up. I just wanted to, you to look at these. These portraits look a lot like you. Do you know anything about them? Oh, I'm sure I'm not as pretty as this. Just where did these come from? I don't know. I'm trying to find whoever owns them. I wish I could help you, but these aren't mine. Can't say any of my friends are artsy types either. Oh, that's too bad. I was sure this was you. Are these things all you have to go on? Hmm. Take a closer look at this picture. Doesn't the scenery in the background look a little like that Carrick Swampland? Now that you mention it, maybe that's where these were drawn. Let's go check it out. Find them? I'd like to meet the artist behind these beautiful portraits, too. Hee <laughs> hee. Swamps are nice. Oh, we can just do a straight run to the swamp. Wonderful. Okay, no, I said straight run, but look at these beautiful flowers. Lovely. That's Nomar that we're not going to do right now because Nomar is stuck being a four star. And a tank. Okay, way over there. Pretty sure we already acquired the cats here. Under attack. I don't like these jelly fruit things, they're unsettling. like pretty much any of the plant monsters. The plant monsters are kind of terrifying in general. The, the apple things, the fruit things, the mango dogs. I don't mango dogs. Get on your knees and surrender. Probably the best name for them, but that's all I can ever think when I see them. They look like mango dogs. And uh they're over by the Tower of Time. Go. Ducks are ugly. Yes, they are very ugly. I do not like them. They are scary. This is where the portraits were drawn. There may be a clue here somewhere. Huh? There's someone over there. Hey. Okay. Whoa, don't scare me like that. Wait, is that you, Aldo? What are you doing way out here? Oh, Corn. I thought it was you. I was looking for someone. Do you think you can help me out? Who are you looking for? I don't really know. Whoever it is lost these pictures. Hey, is this some kind of joke? Those pictures are mine. Give them back. <laughs> really, you drew them. Why are you carrying pictures like these around? Well, you see? They seem to mean a lot to you. What's the story here? Don't be shy. We've known each other all our lives, right? You can trust me. <laughs> okay, I guess there's no point in hiding. I did draw these portraits? Or of a girl I named Annette. Or apples with mal a mouth and roots. So I don't like them. Very, very gross. But, you, you don't really have to ask why, right? She's so beautiful. I love at first sight. This was the only thing I could do to express what I was feeling. Thank goodness. For a moment, I thought it was something weird. Wait, Annette, as in the girl who just moved to Baruoki. Baruoki. So you know her too. Isn't she the most beautiful girl you've ever seen? If you say so. But you know, I asked her about the pictures and she didn't think they were of her. 
What? You, you showed them to her? Why would you do that to me? I didn't know. Besides, she has no idea they're yours or that they're of her. Are you sure? Positive. Why do you want to keep it a secret? Why not just come out and tell her how you feel? There. Have, have, having some spelling troubles. I've, I've been there. The typing. The typing troubles. Where you're trying to type a thing and type it wrong. There's no way a goddess like that would waste her time with me. If she began to hate me for it, I, I wouldn't be able to stand it. Putting my heart into my pen and creating art in her image, that's the best I can do. Be sure about that. A anyway, can I have the portraits back now? Of course, here you go. Can we walk over? We gave the pictures to Corin. Thought I was going to go crazy looking for these. At least now I can get back to honing my craft. happens and the whole me being an art being the artist thing keep that under your hat okay i don't get it if he likes her that much why doesn't he just say so we should let annette know we solved the case i'm not sure how much we ought to tell her though to Baruoki, my little peoples why are you crying and water. If you want attention, you can come over. You're a fool to challenge me. Huh? Kitty. Oh. Ah. Sit, sit, sit with me, Kitty. Don't pull my earbuds out, Kitty. I love this cat. Look how pudgy it is. So cute. Little round, round kitty. Oh. I am. Every time, every time I'm about to leave an area, I think it's loading in the next area, and it's like, oh no, no, I'm under attack. I could have handled it. Okay, not every time, but a lot of the time, it happens a lot. Don't step on, don't step on my mouse, kitty. That's a little, a little bit of kindness, kitty, please. Kitty cat walk is cute. Like cat. What? Hello again, Aldo. How did your search for a mystery artist go? I found him, but... Wow, that's great. Who is he? Can't really say. Huh? Why not? Is he afraid of fame? Something like that, but we gave him back his lost property, so it all worked out. Can't leave now. I'm even more curious than I was before. If someone's been drawing me, I have a right to know about it, don't I? Probably have a point there, but hey, wait a second. Aha, they really were of me. Erg, I let my guard down. Oh my, how embarrassing. They made me look so pretty, too. I'm blushing just thinking about it. Is that how the artist sees me? Could that mean what I think it means? I'm sworn to secrecy. I really can't say any more. That's all right. I think I've figured out most of it out myself. Huh? Figured out what, exactly? The person who drew those portraits must feel very strongly about me. Is he in love, maybe? Whoa, you knew about that already. Oh, looks like my guess was right on the mark. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. Raldo? I think it's time you told me everything. I worked out so much, it won't make a lot of difference now. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, fine. Here's the deal. We're right. Those portraits were drawn by someone who likes you. He's crazy about you, in fact. I knew it. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, that's so touching. Everything I could wish for. It is? Truth is, I've noticed someone watching me from afar lately. The passionate heat of his gaze sets my heart racing. Saw him, huh? Sounds like you're actually kinda into him. Want me to introduce you? Nay, that would ruin the effect. I prefer the simple comfort, but from comfort from knowing someone loves me. Although can't keep a secret to save his life. No, he cannot, poor. Poor poor lad. 
If he got to know the real me, he'd only be disillusioned. I couldn't stand that. These two are kind of crazy. If you ask me, they're perfect for each other. I think they're going to need some help to get their relationship off the ground. Like I said, I'm fine with things the way they are. See you around. Like, uh, Ald Aldo's just out here being a little matchmaker, like he was in antiquity when he got that guard and rind girl to- not rind, rattle girl together. Let's go talk to Corin again. And that ended well, so. I guess Corin's still in the swampland. Uh, Baru, Baru Oki's nice and pure. I guess it makes sense, it is like the starting town. Enjoy some nice peaceful times. Love these people. They're very cool. Okay, we're heading this way. Goodness. Sometimes these long walks between the people and quests are, are a bit of a nuisance, but Wish to die? Step it's just the nature of it. And we have Tiramis, so. Nothing is really that Time annoying. is a luxury we don't have. Well, until we get uh, until we get to enemies who can outspeed her, that that might be. I don't imagine we're gonna get there anytime soon. You will fall to my blade. Still going well, although we are running out of mana. It's the tragedy is her her uh, mana pool runs low. I probably shouldn't be using her. More expensive one, but I need it for a uh, an eating marsh. There you are. Hey, Corin, you got a minute? What's up? You don't want the porches back, do you? Listen, the thing is, I kind of told Annette about you. What wasn't I clear about wanting to keep it all a secret? Sorry, she got under my skin and it just spilled out. She still doesn't know your name. She had noticed someone had been watching her, though. What? Oh no, what do I do now? Sounded pretty flattered by the attention. Why not talk to her? I couldn't. She'll think I'm some depraved weirdo stalker. You can't go on living like this. But, but I... Corin, where do you think you're going? Assume we're gonna just follow her. They'd make such a great couple. Why can't they see that? <laughs> Looks like I'll have to give them a little push. I have a plan. I'll need some Lizzie scales. There should be plenty all over the Cleric Swampland. Then head back to Baruoki and find a nice picturesque spot. Dang, he really does want to be a matchmaker. Ah yes, my my childhood friend and the newcomer to town. I shall matchmake them. Guess we can run over this way. I'll need to check the desk because I think my cat's one. Can be patient a little longer, Kitty. You're you're not in fact starving. Because you have not eaten in the past hour. Not mean you are starving. Shall we venture on? Okay, we got one scale. We need two more. Lies. Well, most of the enemies in the game would, in general, would most likely never outspeed a five star at a high level. Unless the speed stat sucks. Okay, that's I know I know mages though, like mighty. I had, I had my other game. He was very slow. Still have the other game. Okay, please let there be a Lizzie. Let, let me finish this collect scales quest. Okay, well, we got a good chance. To eat food, so we have to manually kill them. I think, yeah, I haven't given Cornica any skills. Leveled her up, actually. Well, I, I think I've, I've leveled her, I haven't given her any uh, abilities. Mm -hmm. Used her bolt, I guess. Okay, now we got to search for a pretty spot. Remember, or, yeah, uh, up by the pond. Nope, Does they just turn around? I don't know. I think I must put the mouse in such a way that it decides I want to walk the other way. But I do not want to walk the other way. I want to walk this way. That. Over there. Over there. Okay. Thank you. I must match make these people. Very important. 
some reason. This place should work. Now, where are those two? This is a very lovely font. Oh, excuse me. Are you? Uh, uh, Annette. My, my name is Corin. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. I, I wasn't planning on ever talking to you face to face like this. When I heard you were leaving Baruoki, I knew I had to. Huh? But Aldo told me you were moving to the capital. Aha. Uh -huh. We've been set up. Hey, Aldo, you're around here somewhere, aren't you? Show yourself. You're very stealthy. Standing in with the trees, like... Tending to be one of them. Looks like I'm busted. I did this for your own good, you know. Aldo, you traitor. You had me totally fooled. You even made a real farewell scale. Made this, Aldo? That's right. It's a traditional goodbye present around here. You show up in fairy tales and everything. I figured it'd make the setup even more believable. You went through all that trouble just to play a trick on us. I'm sorry, alright, but I proved my point. The idea of being separated scared you into finally talking to each other. I guess so. You'd never have done that if you really had been satisfied with things as they were. Don't you think you should get your feelings out in the open now while well, you can? Aldo? Maybe you have a point. I've been a coward hiding behind a romantic ideal. But no more. Net, I, uh, I... I drew the portraits Aldo found, and they're of you. But I'm really not as pretty as that, am I? I think you're the most beautiful person I ever had the pleasure to meet. See, Corin, you can do it when you try. I have a feeling you two are going to get along just fine. Wish you all the happiness in the world. Okay, he didn't awkwardly, awkwardly stand and stare at them the whole time they talked. How unusual. Very exciting. Very exciting. But unfortunately, I must be done for now because the cats are demanding their food. I must tent. Thank you for uh, coming, everybody. Thank you, uh, Sage Master Mania and Grimthorpe and anyone else. A goodbye.